that feeling sick inside your stomach when you think about all those other people who are doing what you want to do. Who look like they've got their shit all together. I call that compareitis. Compareitis can kill your business before you even start. So what the hell is compareitis? It's when you look around and you see other people doing it like you think you want to do it. And it scares the hell out of you because then you question yourself. Can I do this? Am I good enough? I couldn't charge the money that they're doing. Oh my God, they've got 10,000 followers. And it stops you before you even start. And zen. You question yourself whether you're good enough. You question yourself whether there's a space for you in the market. And you question, why would people come and work with me? And that feeling, I know it. I've lived it. It's gut-wrenching. So how do we get over it? The brilliant news is, is that it's a story inside of our head. First thing I want you to do is go and turn off the notifications for all of those people that you're following. Unfollow them, unsubscribe. Stop looking at the people that are crippling you. There was two women that I followed in my early days. I wanted to be like them. Twice I was inspired by their message. Inspired so much that I copied their message. Blasphemy in my world and what I do. I still feel sick thinking about it now. And after that, I was crippled to actually go and be my own voice because I kept worrying, what if it's too similar to theirs? What if I'm showing too much um, reference back to what they're doing? And so it stopped me before I even started. The way I got out of that was by unfriending, unfollowing them, never looking at them. It held me back so much that I couldn't get my own voice out there. So the second thing I'd love you to hear is that people buy from people. They buy from people that they have connections with. They buy brands that they feel aligned with, that they feel like talks to them personally. There are so many different individuals, so many different desires and feelings and loves and trends and excitement. It means that there's a space for so many more people in your market. People buy from people. So the way you get to take advantage of that is to be yourself. Drop the mask. Show the real you. Show what you're about. Stop showing up as a professional. Hear me on this. Stop showing up as a professional. Nobody wants to see somebody with a mask. They don't want to buy from somebody with a mask. They want to buy from you, the real you. How do you find that? It's hard. I know that you've spent so many years with a mask on, showing up like you think you should. You spend all that time pretending to be this awesome professional person. But at home, you're a different person. It's the person at home that your audience wants to see. <laughs> Mom's the winner! How do you let that person emerge? So my exercise for you today is go and write down the 10 things you stand for. What are your 10 values that you are about? What are the 10 things that you are against? Write down your values because they are your reflection of who you are. Mum, did you use the toilet as, did you use the bed as a toilet? Because there's something in the toilet. There's diarrhea in it. What? So give me values that actually mean something to you. <laughs> Don't be rough, thank you. Give me values that mean something to you. Don't talk about integrity. Don't talk about quality, they're boring. That's what you would say if you're in corporate, I should know, I helped so many of those corporates create a mission statement just like that. Instead, I want you to think about the values that really lift you up. For me, I stand for choice, I stand for inspiring women, I stand for speaking your truth, showing the real you, I stand for swearing when you want to, I stand for putting your hands over your children's mouth. I am against 
um, playing it safe. I'm against settling in life. I'm against hiding behind a mask. And, and he's against biting us. Against biting you. <laughs> So those values, they're your key to standing out in a crowd where there's already people playing because people buy from people. Find out what it is you stand for and then put your hand up in the marketplace and own it. That's your key to the paralysis that comes from comparing yourself to everyone else in the market. Go do it, I know you're gonna rock.